Hey YouTube, um, this last Sunday there's a preacher in North Carolina by the name of Charles L. Worley that made a really disgusting video. Um, he was actually speaking to his congregation at the Providence Road Baptist Church in North Carolina and he said some really disgusting evil things and there's there's nothing I can really do to, to, to basically tell you how bad they were. I'm just going to go ahead and show you his speech. I had a way, I figured a way out a way to get rid of all the lesbians and queers, but I couldn't get it past the Congress. <laughs> Build a great, big, large fence, 150 or 100 mile long, put all the lesbians in there, fly over and drop some food. Do the same thing with the queers and the homosexuals and have that fence electrified till they can't get out feed them and, and you know what in a few years they'll die out do you know why they can't reproduce now I hope that video makes you as angry as it makes me because it's not only what he said it's the audience reaction to him people like him have been in our history as, as humans forever they're disgusting vile evil creatures and they preach that kind of hate about people who are different it isn't so much his words that really make me angry it's his audience of his church that really basically amen him and you know, basically applaud and whistled for his comments. Um, that is the type of people in this country that we LGBT people need to be scared of because they hold power. These are some churches in the South, these are churches all across this country that preach hate in their churches. And who knows how many young LGBT people are sitting in that audience while he's giving this speech. Those are the ones that I'm most concerned about. The young people growing up and listening to this evil hate. Um, he is an evil man, and that is an evil church, and I, and, I, and I really hope that the government does something against him because I know there's, there's an initiative to basically have his uh, tax status removed because when you're in a church and you're preaching hate about not only gay people but about the President of the United States and you're collecting tax-free money, it should stop. Um, I would like to address his, com his comments about putting us all in concentration camps. Um, that's happened before, and if you ever think it's going to happen again, not on our watch because gay people today are not passive and we're not going to just disappear we're not going to hide we will fight back if you ever think you're going to take people like us and stick us in a concentration camp good luck because we wouldn't just sit back and watch as you did that to us so i would actually like to take a moment and remember those people who have been put in concentration camps who were lgbt in the past because we survived that and we can survive anything like this man in the future thank you youtube Push a needle and I pull the thread Trying to put myself back together again And I, well I believe that eventually we'll get what we're after But I need it now And all I see out my window's a hummingbird flying backwards And it's all I think about For now